are you doing? I'm great, Bella. I love the color combination. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, how have you been? I've been good. Yeah. I've been good. Yeah, I've uh, been good. It's a lot, a lot happening. Too many things. Exactly. I slept in Dumsa last night, so oh, no. I had a rough night and yeah. sort of a rough morning. Yeah. But we're here. We're alive. We're grateful to be here. Um, th there's, there's news about the Dumsa must stop de demonstration and so on. Mm -hmm. Are um, you going to join? If uh, it, well, I've never joined a demonstration, okay. but I follow keenly, so mm -hmm. I will follow keenly. Okay. Uh, to see how it goes. How it goes. Yeah. I see. Anyway. Well, we'll, we'll talk about that maybe later. Later. On. But, yeah. but good morning to you as well. Thank you for joining us this morning. I do hope that you did not sleep in doom so like mm -hmm. now, but if you did, um, it's quite unfortunate. <laughs> We're still waiting to hear what the solution really is. Yes. The president says that it's going to end. And so we do hope that it ends as soon as possible. But beyond that, I mean, too many scandals. It's like you can't even finish digesting one. And, and then, then another there's another one accusation. Is, exactly. And there's never really any finality. For mm -hmm. me, that's where the problem is. The fact that we never get finality. There's always, you know, power shop. play between who has to investigate, who has to prosecute and all that. And we have these um, government officials going scot-free, yeah. or at least to a large extent, just living their yeah. lives, not giving us any proper explanation yeah. as to why they were involved or fingered in one scandal or the other. And now we have another one, you know, on our plates exactly. as well. Good to have you join us this morning. You can join us on social media as well, at TV3 Ghana, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and also DSTV channel 279. And we'll be getting into our conversation shortly, of course. We'll start with this morning. Yes. And we're talking about the Snit Rock City scandal, if uh -huh. I should call it that way. I mean, it, it, I, I don't know what to make of it. Yesterday, I heard the Minister for Agri um, speak Bernie on Trump. this matter, and he says that, well, there's really no issue about conflict of interest because he is a non executive member um, you know, of his company, even though he's still the owner of the company. He's a shareholder of the company. And as long as there's value for money, um, I mean, that should be what we should focus on, according to Mr. Joe Seousu as well. So it's, it's all very murky, but we'll get into that conversation. We'll give you more details about it and find out from you what you make of that situation. And then there'll be Johnny's Bites. We'll go into the big issue. And we're, de we're dwelling heavily on this topic today, and so look forward to that conversation. But right after yes. that, we have... And then after that, yes, we have other conversations. On Wednesdays, we try to bring you important health conversations. So today, we're going to be talking about freezing and harvesting of eggs. Now, we know that it's one of the ways to one of the ways to ensure that you can have proper proper fertility treatment later in life as a woman. Um, last week we spoke about PCOS and our doctor said that one of the ways that you can ensure that later in life if you decide to have children, um, you can make that possible is by freezing your eggs. So today we'll delve deeper into that. For women 40 and above, freezing eggs is a sure way to help with proper fertility in the future. If you're thinking of freezing your eggs, harvesting and freezing them, if you have questions about it, if you don't understand it, today on the show we'll bring you proper details on how to have this done, if you should have any concerns and the solutions to those concerns. And of course, we'll go into sports. Yesterday, um, we were talking to, or we listened um, to the coach of the Black, is it Starless or Satellites? I keep, I keep um, confusing it. Black. Well, I think we have Starless Star and we have Starlight. So Set I'm not sure well, which one. Yes, okay, well, yeah. well, one well of them. <laughs> they did us proud last night. They did us proud, so proud last, last night with five goals to one against Algeria. We'll bring you details on that as well mm. but throughout the show you can reach us via our social media platforms with the hashtag tv3 new day on any of the topics we're talking about mm. and also when we activate the phone lines for this morning you can call in and let us know what you make of this snit rock city saga so we'll go straight into it and begin with this morning mm. All right, you're welcome to this morning. And we're starting off with a conversation on the planned sale of six hotels belonging to SNIT to Rock City Hotels, a company owned by Agric Minister Bryony Champong. A petition has been brought up by the North Tong MP, uh, Okujetua Blaka, who says that there's an obvious conflict of interest. Bryony Champong says there's no conflict of interest. What do you make of this? Let us know. Call us. Now, in the meantime, you can win 1,000 Ghana CDs on our cash out. 
this morning and every weekday morning on TV3 New Day. All you have to do is start, dial star 439 hash, star 439 hash, and follow the prompts. Remember to select option two for TV3 because you're watching us on TV3. And then win 1,000 Ghana cities. As always, we're, we're giving it out to four people. So 1,000 to four different people on MTN and Telesel. We already have our first call on the line for this morning. Hello? Hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. What's your name? This is Mejina. Mejina, you're welcome. As always, our first caller. What, what yeah, do you make of you. this plant sale uh, to Rock City? I think uh, it's hard time we, 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 we sit down with the, the parliament, this greedy parliamentarians. Why? What, what exactly? Uh, if if, if the, the agriculture minister has money to establish his own hotel. He should go and build it. But this hotel we are talking about is a, pro a, pro a property of Ghanaians, hard-earning Ghanaians. You see it. We, our monies have been invested for you to do hotel business. So did the Senate consult the pensioners before uh, the sale? Or the pensioners have told, I uh, informed the Senate that they want them to sell the, 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 the hotel facility. You see, whether there is a value for money or not, it does not guarantee them. So why any time MPP comes to power, they always buy the, the, the heavy, heavy uh, facilities that made for Ghana? It, it, it's very outrageous to be hearing this or seeing this. And I want Senate to put a stop to it whether fifty percent or seventy percent or whatever, we don't want them to sell it. It is for Ghanaian. Go and see the state at uh, the, the, the state at which the, the pensioner the, the difficulty that they go through. At the end of the day, a Ghanaian pensioner will not end something more than five hundred Ghana cities. And you are selling your property. How what is, what kind of business is this? And so will these people go to heaven? <laughs> I think sure they can go to heaven. All right, Smijina. Oh. Thank you. Ma ma Madam, I am so, so surprised to see them doing this. Yes, mm -hmm. I can Ganesh tell. Ganesh will vote them out. Ganesh will vote, vote them out. All right. It's just good greatness. All right, Smijina. Thank you so much for your call. When you call, we um, plead with you to keep it short so other callers can also get in. Francisca has just joined us. Okay. Please, um... I want to speak to Cookie, but I realize he has not come to work this morning. Yes, Cookie is not here this morning. But I'm okay. sure she's watching, so uh, you, you, you can send your message across. Oh, okay. I admire her so much, and I want to tell her that she shouldn't, like, she should take it. Whatever that has come, she should just be calm and continue to take care of her people. That's what I want to say. All right. I, you weren't very clear there, but thank yeah. you. Thank you for calling. Um, we'll let her know that admi an admirer called her this morning. You can also call us. Let us know what you make of this planned sale uh, to Rock City, Briny Champons, Rock City. Uh, we have another caller, Bella. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Okay, we lost the caller, but you can also call in. Just to let you know that SNIT as well responded to these allegations that were made by Honorable Sam Okujeto at Black. And they explained why they decided um, to sell some stake um, in the hotel, some 60% um, shares in the hotels. And in fact, they said they wanted to find a strategic partner to increase efficiency, profitability, shareholder value, and long-term sustainability of the SNIT pension scheme, which is why... Um, they published in the papers, both locally and internationally, to get some companies to also submit their proposals. And then it was Rock City that submitted the best and strongest technical and financial proposal out of the nine that's bid for it. Hello, good morning. Yeah, good. Thank you for joining us. So what's your name? My name is Raymond. From Raymond. Bowie. From Takrade. From Bowie. Malam. Bowie. Raymond, I'm yeah. sure you followed the story so far. What do you make of it? Well, uh, I don't understand. It's, it's happening and heartbreaking that you, know, you wake up as a youth to do everything possible to save your nation. And yet, you come and face all these, these things going on. What technical quality do they have? Mm. 
what technical quality or what what kind of standard when did the rust stick up? Hmm. When did the rust stick up? Or who were who were those who went to tender the bid? They should bring them out. They will personally to to do I didn't even know that Labadi and La Roya Farm belong to the state. Hmm. Are they in bad shape? Are they in bad shape that they need to be sell out? Well, we know that La, ba La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, unfortunately, has not been in the best of shape. La Badi Beach, however, we're told, has been recording some profitability. In fact, 25 um, million as at last year. Of course, you know government, government property, the government um, companies, they will intentionally manipulate the system. And then they'll give back their family and friends. Let others also kind of give you their, um, their take on it. It is happening, Charlie. Mm. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Indeed, it has to be challenging. And TUC also organized a press conference on Monday. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of questions were being asked because they have four of their members on the board of SNIT. And this issue came up as far back as 2018, 2019. And so the questions that were being asked were that if you knew about this as, as, as you as know, board, board members, why did you have to wait for Honorable Samu Kujitua Blackwater to come out with this expose before organizing yeah, a petition. press conference? Mm -hmm. Could you not have spoken back in 2022 or in 2019? What did you really have to wait for? And that's a major concern that many people have. But I think we have another caller yes, on the line. Do. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Bala, good please, morning. thank you for joining us. OK, um, please, I'd like you to read the response from the um, 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 Senate board okay. to me. You want me to read it to you? Well, I'll just take parts yeah. of it. Like I mentioned earlier, they said they wanted to find a strategic partner to increase efficiency, profitability, okay. shareholder value, and long-term sustainability okay. of the Senate's pension scheme. So okay. they used the international competition, uh, competitive tendering process as prescribed by the PPA Act 2003. Then they selected okay. their transactional ad advisor. Then eventually in December 2022, that's when they published in the papers. Bella, I'm okay. Bella, it's okay. okay. It's okay. All right. Now, my question I want to ask the Senate board this morning is that a whole board is not able to raise the facilities to the standard that they want, but they are sure that one person can manage this whole facility. Means that they are yes. failures. They are failed as leaders to this nation. And then one thing is that I don't know why the leaders of this country, I don't know if sometimes they have brains in their head. I don't know. Because how can you sell a property of the nation to one person for him alone to benefit from it? Sometimes we have so many questions to ask our leaders. We they cannot answer. But I read my case this morning. All right, thank you. Well, the, the alleged sale is for a 60% stake in, in, in these hotels. So it's not a complete sale, but for a 60% stake in uh, these hotels. And the, 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 the Honorable MP for North Tong, Samu Kujitua Blakwa, has petitioned Shraj to halt the sale completely. And this petition is on the following grounds. He says that he wants Shraj to investigate grave matters bordering on conflicts of interest, abuse of power, lack of due process, procurement breaches, and graft. All right, so these are the grounds on which he has asked um, Shiraj to halt the sale of 60% stake in these hotels owned by SNIT to Agric Minister Brian Echampo. You can still call us, our phone lines are active. And I'll read a few messages coming in. Landlord from Boga D Line uh, just says hello to us and he says, with regards to the SNIT 60% sale, ladies and gentlemen, our destiny is in our own hands. So the best way for us now is to hold ourselves and wait patiently for the 7th of December to vote them out. And that's from Landlord texting us from Boga D Line. And Aziz Donla from Wa says, the happenings at SNIT is nothing but state capture, hmm. nothing more, nothing less. It's so sad for us as a developing nation and that's from Aziz Dola from Wa. We have Ajay calling us from Sapeman. Good morning, Ajay. Good morning. You're welcome um, to the show. Yes. Um, I pray that Bella, Cookie, and Na Asoko would not be sold out 
Hmm? Be sold out? By the government. Pardon? Yeah. I, I don't understand your prayer. Because they are, they are selling almost everything. So oh, I say that oh right. Selling. But we are not state property. They, 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 they go to fetch you for us. Amen. 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 We are not for sale. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that. I, I, I know, right? I was confused for a moment there. All right. Uh, thank you for, thank the, you prayer. for the prayer. Thank you for the prayer. It won't be sold. Uh, uh, Ajay, <laughs> is that it? Yes, I think so. Okay, well, he's gone. Okay, well, to be Thanks. sold out. <laughs> anyway, so just about 57 minutes ago, Honorable Samuel Kujitwa Blackwa put out another um, Twitter post, basically, plus a letter, and he says that in pursuit of full transparency and accountability, I can today review that the transaction advisor for SNIT's sale of 60% stake in its hotel to Brian A. Champions Rock City is SEM Capital. It's costing Ghanaian workers a hefty 491000 986 US dollars, which is 7.1 million Ghana cities at current exchange rates in paying SEM capital to mm. advise on a transaction the overwhelming majority of Ghanaians do not support. Uh, we'll, we'll probe further into this, but we have a caller as well. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Bella. Thank you for joining us, sir. What's your name? How are you? I'm fine, hey, thank This you. is Alaji Bini Group. Alaji, you called us yesterday. Good to hear from you again. Talk to us. Yeah. I think nobody can mention the name in your station. So, <laughs> just leave it. Roland uh, Trade. <laughs> uh, yeah, now, nah, or you can mention it. No, no. No. Ah, okay. But, but, I but we'll call you Alaji. <laughs> yeah. Alaji, yes. In the Europe, you shall. Okay. Yes, please. We will not attend. <laughs> uh, thank you for having me this morning. Thank Let you for calling. Let me send my question to you, and uh, Roland, and. Uh, one of the APA is saying, uh, you see, when we look about what is going on in this country, it's very painful. It'd be like NPP government, they come with different mindset. They just come to collapse our country. They just come to sell our country properties for themselves. You see, if you have a wicked leader, the leader who doesn't think for the country, Certain thing will happen in the country. You know, the credible person who bring this issue out, Honorable Samuel Kujetua Blackwa, may God bless Honorable Samuel Kujetua Blackwa, because if any time at all he will bring some issue out, he will prepare to bring the evidence. Yesterday, one, one uh, media man, uh, Kevin Tiller, spoke about this thing, saying that. Some guy, Yao uh, Osafumafu, the mm -hmm. son. Yes. Because of that, and he put him for a snit. So, what, 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 what is that? Those are what allegations that? that have not been proven, sir. Is it? I'm saying those are allegations that have not been proven, that he was specifically yeah. put he has been in charge of snit because of this. Dealer, a credible uh, journalist. He has a credibility because of that, and I spoke for that, that, that person. You see, Suna and uh, Bella, mm. so let's pray for the country and go out doing NDC, but if NDC come to power, we'll force these people and give to them because we will not sit down and look about this thing going on. We will not. Each and any person who buy the state uh, property, just hand it over to uh, the country again before we come to power. Inshallah, today elect 199 days to election. Alaji. Yeah. So, so yesterday, Honorable Brian Champon um, spoke on this matter. He said, in actual fact, he won't be the first person who is trying to buy this property. There are other properties that SNIT has sold to other NDC politicians. So it's not as if it's only MPP that is guilty. I've heard Anabola Komia also say the same thing. Uh, Bella. Yes, sir. When he see he bring any evidence for the NDC minister by the state property, mm. he bring the evidence. He doesn't bring any evidence. He just say it. Because of, we condemn them how they buy the government, uh, country property. Because of that, and he also... Okay. We'll I think we lost Alaji on there yeah. as well. I, I remember Nana Kumia mentioned one. I'll check my, my um, documents later and mention that. But yeah, that was his concern as well. So the question well. then would be that 
I mean, if all parties are guilty, why are we pointing at just one particular person? And is it more about value for money? If it's about value for money, then why are we all crying foul about then this matter? Then it shouldn't be an issue. But yeah. I think the biggest concern here is conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. and, and that's um, the one key issue that um, Sam Okujitu Ablakwa has been complaining about as the reason for his petition to strudge to halt the sale. But we have another caller on the line. Good morning. Hello. Yes, Richard, you're welcome to the show. Uh, this is Richard, calling from Bola. Yes, Richard, you're welcome. Um, thank you. I'm happy to be on your platform. We're happy to have you. What are your thoughts on this matter? Uh, my thoughts is uh, actually the, the, the government, we voted for the government to come and help us. But sincerely speaking, I think they came with a purpose. And for now, it is very difficult to even determine why they were actually, why they came to power. They've been able to capture a lot of things. This is just what we, we, we've been told. What of others that we, we don't even know of? Mm. It might only surface when they are off power. And personally, I'm sad to see that a state institution such as Senate can go ahead to sell something like this without the people who are actually stakeholders, without their knowledge. The few people who are board members, what happened? Were they not part of this decision? If they were passed, why couldn't they tell the entire country that this is what is happening? And personally, I also feel that you people should do us so much good to always bring some of these things to the limelight. And uh, I think that is all what I have to say. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Richard, for calling us. We will not be bringing you Johnny's by today, so we can extend our time for this morning by a few minutes. So you can still call. Uh, the number is on the screen. And if you haven't cashed out this morning, here's a reminder to do so. Dial star 439 hash if you are an MTN subscriber or a Telcel subscriber and win 1,000 Ghana CDs. Select option 2 for TV3 and follow the prompts after that to win. It's as simple as that. That's how you win some good money on the show today. We'll read some more messages coming in from you with the hashtag TV3 New Day on Twitter. Prince Henry texting from Koforidia says, good morning. Whatever is happening under the NPP government led by Nanado Danko and Dr. Baumia is Proverbs chapter 29 verse 2. Simple. The future is pregnant. Uh, we'll check that Bible verse. Is what but, Proverbs uh, was? Proverbs chapter 29 verse 2. We have to find this. We have to find it and see what's there. But uh, Farouk has just joined us on the line. Good morning, Farouk. Yes, good morning, madam. How are you guys? Very well, thank you. Um, thank you for joining us. Yes, um, I'm just curious. When are we going to share Independence Square? Because it's in bad shape. The Independence Square? Yes, madam. You, you think we should sell it? Or is that sarcasm? <laughs> <laughs> because it's in bad shape. <laughs> Farouk, are you there? Okay, Farouk oh, is gone. Yeah. He's gone already. <laughs> okay, so he made that one statement. <laughs> okay, he's still there. Oh. Farouk? Okay, Farouk, mm. Farouk is gone. Um, anyway. He says, so, what are we going to sell the independent square? So um, Proverbs 29, 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked birth rule, the people mourn. I'm not sure who he's referring to. But anyway, like I mentioned, Nana Kumia, um, who is uh, the deputy chairperson of the campaign team for the NPP, um, flag bearer Dr. Baum Baumia, has been speaking on this matter. He says we should not pass judgment on Honorable Brani Champon just yet. Okay. He says you must be careful with these matters. You're calling people out for what you call engaging in sleazy acts. But you have called for an investigation by Shraj. Then he goes on to say that... Um, the minority, and he claims that the minority owner in the Snit Hotel in Cape Coast is a high-ranking NDC member. When this person bought it, the NDC was in power. The Katrin Rest House in Tamale was also bought by someone who is a high-ranking NDC member. Mm. Katrin Rest House in Sunyan, also bought by a high-ranking NDC member. He goes on to say Kumasi as well, same, and says, unlike the NDC bigwigs who bought properties of Snit when they were in power, Brian A. Champon has proven that he can turn around hotels that are not making profits. Okay, we have a call on the line. We'll come back to this. Yes. But hello, good morning. Good morning. Thank Bella. you for joining us. Sir. What's your name? My name is Mukhtar. I'm calling from Yendi. Thank you for joining us again. So, what do you say to this? Um, Bella, uh, me that I'm speaking, I I am from Akawai, mm. and I I am a very young teacher that was posted to Yendi, and I work in a village. Let me say a, a village. 
I ride a motorbike every day to work and then comes back. Then I am hoping that one day when I turn 60, I'll get something from Smith. Mm. Something they deduct from my salary every month. I know I will, it, will, it will boost me after yeah. 60 years to live longer. Here's the case we have entrusted this money into someone's hand. And then parties come and they use it anyhow, anyhow they want. Um, my, my, when I heard about this, I was just thinking, if the net cannot take care of our money, after the first um, community that came that after 20, mm -hmm. 30, whatever, they can pay, they should stop deducting those money. That is the first thing that came to my mind. And then, Bella, we are young. We are frustrated already with the economic um, um, hardship. So, uh, we can entrust our hands into these politicians, whether NDC and NDC. Mm. The fact thing is that whenever I think about NPP, I, I try in my heart. Bella, I'm telling you, I've advocated for NPP from 24. I would travel from school, even when I was in secondary school, to go and vote for Nana. Today, the fear and the mafia and act, those who advocated for him, who fought for him. Hmm. He had accidents going campaigning for him from village. It's hard working. And for the youth, I want to advise all of us. We have to stand up. We don't need to let these politicians um, um, take their way, come in, look at the galante issues, defend our lands, our um, forest. And here, our money, we are hustling, and we are also challenged. Bella, hey, yeah. Hmm. yeah, it is indeed. It's, it's, it's very worrying. And, and you know, the, the statement by the ILO, which he was also talking about, um, spoke about the fact that by 2036, SNIT reserves will be depleted to zero. In fact, they will hit zero. And says the gloomy report suggests that the woes of beneficiaries will begin by 2029 when contributions, investments, income, and other income will be, begin to decrease and will no longer be sufficient to service the trust's annual expenditures. And that's where the problem is right now. We are broke or getting broke. And so if Nana Kumia, for example, says that the best person that we could get was him, was Honorable Brian Champon, because he has a proven track record that he can turn hotels around. His Hotel Rock City was opened in 2019. Then by 2022, he was already bidding for, you know, the, uh, the Snit Hotels. Yeah. And now they are saying that he presented the best, the best. proposal. Yeah. And that's why they selected him. Are yeah. we saying that within three years, he had been able to build his you know hotel to Rock that City. point where mm -hmm. he was able to get the, the finances to buy these properties and also has the technical know-how to run these properties is that really the actually, case actually that's what snit is saying yeah but i mean is that even possible that just three that's the years yeah he qualified over the others that's the question hmm. we have a final caller on the line hello hello yes what's hello, your name please i'm michael from Southampton. Michael, you're welcome to the show. You're our last caller. What are your thoughts on this Snit Rock City matter? Yeah, I want to tell you from yesterday, the OSC and the, the teachers, they are uh, around that he was talking about yesterday. Okay. You see, what the OSC means, that's it's a gimmick. It's Most a gimmick? It's just a cover for himself. Why do you say so? But if you if you tell us the teachers that are not in the system, but they are taking money. If you tell us, putting a letter out will not solve the problem. So if you tell us the teachers that are not in the system, but they are taking the money. And also to the NAT, our NAT leaders, what are they doing? Are you a teacher? Yes, please. Okay, and are you saying this because they, you don't that, believe that ghost names exist on the payroll of the Ghana Education Service? Come again. Are you saying this because you don't believe that ghost names I exist on the payroll of the Ghana before, Education Service? Before you take page. Your, your supervisor will validate you. Your teacher also will validate you. So how come the, these people are there and they are still having ghost news in the system? So it's not true. I don't think it's true. So you don't believe it. it. Okay. So, <clears throat> All right. And, and our not needed. They should come and tell us what is going on with the negotiation with the government. Thank you. All right, Michael, your final caller. Thank you so much. Uh, for that call. Uh, that's all time will allow us for calls this morning. When we come back, Bella will take us uh, through big issues. Stay tuned.